I always thought that if I formed a consistent exercise habit, that my desire to work out would always be there. That I'd be this disciplined superhero who always felt like working out on my lifting days. Man, was I wrong about that. In fact, even with only missing a handful of sessions over the past eight solid years and creating this physique that seemingly felt like forever to develop, there are still countless times, especially leg days, that I get to that time and I really don't feel like working out. Does that sound familiar? Well, regardless if you're stuck in a rut with exercise or you're generally challenged with any consistency in any type of exercise, we're going to be running through a major piece of the puzzle that helped me to stay consistent that ultimately led me to building the physique I currently have today. So if you're lacking motivation, the question isn't why. The answer is your why. Let me explain. You see, it's all about connecting, and I mean really connecting with your reason or desire for the outcome that you're after that working out is going to help you get there. This is super important, and I'm going to be showing you the best way to do this later. But first, to use motivation to your advantage, first we need to understand it. And there's basically two kinds of motivation in psychology. Now, these can be given different names, but we're going to be calling them push motivation and pull motivation. Push motivation is the hardest, especially when you're not starting with any momentum. Think about it like trying to push a boulder and the huge effort that's required for this, especially if the hill that you're trying to push it up is loaded with your existing belief systems and certain habits that don't actually support the goal that you're trying to achieve. It's going to be a lot harder versus pushing a boulder that's already moving requires much less energy to keep it going, let alone to push it further. On the other hand, pull based motivation is something that you've already created. It's something that's integrated. This would usually be called intrinsic motivation in psychology. So because pull-based motivation is already established, it's one that continues to pull you forward without you having to push it. It's already set. It's already in motion. And so when you're attached to this proverbial boulder emotionally with a powerful reason such as transforming your physique to improve your self-esteem, when this reason is anchored, let's say with a rope, then it's going to be pulling you forward so you better get ready for the direction that it's moving you in. Believe me, you don't want to be dragging your feet. And so connecting to your why is going to help you develop this pull-based motivation. So you really want to stay strong with whatever that reason is for you, because otherwise that proverbial rope is eventually going to fray and it's going to come undone. Now this reason, your why, the one thing you need to understand is that it will change over time, which usually leads to all of these instances where we get stuck in these exercise ruts or general ruts in life. And we are going to be expanding on this further, but first let's help you find your why. So what is your why? Your why is like, your why is your why, your, your why, God, <laughs> I've said this so many times, it's like losing. Your why is your deeper motivation. It's the purpose that your specific goal has for you to drive your actions towards it. And so to find your why, this is going to require some thought from your end. And more importantly, I would highly suggest using a journal for this. This is going to help to get it out of your head and to really process it so that you can start feeling into and actually testing out which one of these reasons is at the top of your list. Because without this, Without connecting to your why, you're just going to fall back into these motivation waves that are going to break your consistency and they're not going to help you actually lead towards achieving your goals. It's going to make consistency next to impossible. And I hate to break it to you, but the reality is that if you're after a specific weight loss or physique goal, it's going to take a long time. It's going to require that you literally are a different person because the existing habits and thought patterns that present you has that has X results, you know, 20 year old me who weighed 240 pounds with 30 pounds less muscle mass than I have now, he was literally a different human being. He had different habits. He had different values. And what I want you guys to understand from this is that the results that you're presently getting are a reflection of what you're committed to. So for me to go from obese John, I couldn't keep all of those same habits and somehow drop 100 pounds and then somehow keep all of that weight off for that long. 
Like, there's a reason that I broke out of that 95% statistic of people who regain all the way back within a year. It's because I literally shifted my internal dialogue. I shifted my identity. I became the person who lifts weights and exercises and moderates their caloric intake, but also enjoys food and also likes to teach other people how to do this. So getting back to finding your why, you really got to start digging in here to find your reasons. It could be health improvement related. Maybe you want to get stronger. Maybe you want to be jacked. Improve your cognition. Improve your lifespan. You want to rebuild your confidence and attract that partner that you desired. Now, for those of you that get stuck here, actually, regardless if you're stuck here or not, I want you to ask yourself this question. How would my life be different or transform with a consistent exercise practice? For me, I was the fat kid in school. I had a terribly low self-worth, I was made fun of, I was picked on about my weight, and since I had no understanding of how to actually do this, what I'm sharing with you guys right now, the thoughts that took over for me, that were always there, was, I'll always be this way, I'm not attractive, nobody wants me, are all of what took up the mental real estate in my mind. Thus, I continued to live as that John the one who identified as the chubby kid who would never change, the one who's gonna keep being overweight. Now, for those of you that have tried this, have tried connecting with your why, but you still get stuck in an exercise rut, welcome to the club. That was me one year after I had started my weight loss journey where I had plateaued for nearly a decade. My why didn't motivate me any longer. And you better believe that I told myself every bit of bullshit possible. It's my genetics. I'm fine just the way I am. It's never gonna be possible for me to have visible abs. And eventually, I came to understand that I am 100% possible for the results that I'm getting. Commitment is a statement of what is. And so in order for that past version of me to make any further shifts, I had to stop blaming my circumstances and take the actions of another version of me to yield the new results of what I am committed to as my next level self. But I digress. The message that I really want you guys to take home here is that you really have to connect with your reasons. Bullet as many as you can out and see which ones you really connect with, which ones you now resonate with the most in this point of your life. Then you have to do your best to integrate these reasons and do your best to remind yourself of these reasons when you don't feel like working out. The clearer that you get on this, the stronger will be that pull-based motivation, which is going to make it so much easier to tell that lazy voice in your head to go love itself when you got your workout to get to. Now, there's obviously more to this, smaller steps and tools that I've iterated, integrated, failed, and figured out over the years to help make this consistency consistent for me which has a lot to do with removing friction between you and the thing you're trying to do or incorporate into your life that's ultimately going to shift your identity. So if stepping closer towards becoming your next level self is the journey that you're on, which is pretty obvious to me if you made it to this part of the video, then you know what to do. I'll see you in the next one, Warriors.